So the Ansoms, and as you can see, again, we are off on a train. So this is during, again, during our trip from Newcastle. And as you can see, we are off to York, one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. Um, and it's a place I went a couple of times with university while we were playing hockey because we used to have the varsity against York St. John's um, and a couple of times I've, we visited it. Um, previously, my wife and I, we went there just as COVID was really kicking off and we just loved it. So we thought 100% we need to go back. We wanted to go to the Shambles Kitchen. We wanted to have a fantastic sandwich and we just wanted to see the sights and the sounds again. Um, so we went. It was quite a cold, windy day. But we arrived, and as you can see, you may be able to see through my shaky camera, the wall, the famous York Wall that effectively goes around the centre of the old part of the city. And of course, you can walk along it. We didn't this time, as we did have the pram. But previously, we have walked along it. Um, and it's a nice little walk from the train station into the city, going across the bridge. Now, they did have some extreme bad weather during this point and you'll speak a little bit more about that in a moment but involved in that was a lot of rain and this rain level and the river level was extremely high this day i've been maybe five six times to york um for university i've never seen the river this high of course i don't live there so i don't understand it much but it was very high it was kind of overflowing into the parks on some of the lower paths so it was very high but we walk along and here is one of the squares and there's the famous Betty's Tea Room. And we will speak more about that in a moment. But York has this fantastic just display of beautiful buildings, fantastic architecture. The Minster, of course, which again will be shown later. Um, lovely, clean walkway paths and fantastic places to get food as well. And as you can see, this is one of the shopping streets classic looking lovely street and of course the famous york roast company it, it's kind of just like a a walk-in toby carvery if you see what i mean where you just go in you can get wraps made of yorkshire puddings um, and whatever you like very good stuff quite fun a lot more places i think should do it and i think they're very popular because every time we walk past one it was extremely popular but we continued through the lovely streets of york as i say it was quite a chilly day today and this is kind of where the, some of the disappointments start so along that road is a fantastic toy shop that was closed unfortunately yeah. but one of the things that is very famous in York is Tommy's Bakery. And again, we do go to that later. But right now, we are at Shambles. And we, as we walked around the corner, this is literally the first moment we walked around the corner, we saw a build-up of people and we thought, blimey, it's very quiet. And then we realised there was a road closed sign, a heartbreaking moment. During the poor weather in the night, some of the roof tiles came away from the historic little road. And they closed the street, meaning that some of these famous shops were shut as well. One of them we wanted to go to was the York Ghost Shop. Really famous in the last few years of making handmade little ghost sculptures. Um, really popular, but they were closed. As well as Shambles Kitchen, which we were heartbroken about. We loved their Harry Trotter sandwich. Um, and of course, Shambles being the place that Harry Potter Diagon Alley was meant to be themed on. Luckily, just down the road is the place where they make the ghosts. And they are open with this tiny little shop. And as you can see, some of the smaller ghosts there. So we did get one, of course. And then because we couldn't go to Shambles, we went to the famous Betty's Tea Room. We had never been before. It's very historic, extremely old, very classic. All the staff are kind of in their little suits. Um, and it's a really nice, fun atmosphere. Thankfully, our daughter was fast asleep for most of this, so it was really good. So I got a lovely chocolate milkshake using Betty's chocolate. Um, really rich. And my wife got a nice strawberry milkshake there as well. We were really thirsty at this point, but we'd had days of having, you know, fizzy drinks, teas, coffees, etc. So we wanted something different. So I went for sausage, bubble and squeak, some roasted vegetables and this honey mustard sauce there. And when I initially looked at it, I was like, bloody hell, that's a lot of mustard. Really well. It went really well with it. And 
it was a really nice little meal there and a nice lunch very expensive mind very expensive but it was really nice and of course while we were there I had to get one of these little cakes so we got a little pastiche de nada I don't know if I've butchered the way that's said but a little vanilla egg custard tart and that was delicious as well really nice pastry light creamy lovely but we carried on and just up the road is the world famous York Minster, which we have done the tour previously, so we didn't bother this time, partly because it's quite expensive. It's about 25 pound a ticket to go to the York Minster, but we thought we have to have a little visit anyway, because it is a stunning, stunning building. So you walk through these fantastic little shops and our right, there was these homemade tea shop doing crazy flavored teas. I think it was a Cherry Bakewell tea they had outside at the time. Um, so some of the people were kind of staring at that. But as you can see, the first views of it there. Again, very sad. It's got some scaffolding on. Um, I believe it's to do with the organ that they're kind of sorting out and part of the structure on the outside, of course. But it is a mahusive, stunning building. Really nice one to look at. Um, and of course, we made our way all the way around to the front of it as well and had to get some pictures and videos from the front. And there's the front there. So there's the entrance on the side that you enter. As you can see, the statue right in front of us there is the new Queen um, Elizabeth one since she passed away. So the color of the statue, completely different to the rest of the building, just because it had not really aged at all. So I thought I'd take a few steps back and show the view there. It, it is mahusive, this thing, but it is so nice and pretty inside. That's the kind of the entrance way into the tourist part of it. And as I can say, we had been before. And at this point, we were getting quite windy. We fancied something a bit more sweet. We'd had the Pishti Stenada, but we wanted something else. So just down the road from this again is a place that we again previously went to and had so much fun at. Um... For those of you who don't know it, it's uh, somewhere I would say is a little hidden gem of York, really. It is the York Chocolate Experience. So we made our way to that. Now, we did this tour again just when we visited before COVID. Um, there was a big and there still is a Nestle factory in York. Um, so you do get the smells of it every now and then. So this was kind of an homage to them, as well as the general history of chocolate and ways to eat chocolate. You know, I wasn't 100% aware of a way, specific way you had to eat chocolate, but apparently you don't put it in the fridge ever. That ruins it. You put it in your mouth and you effectively just let it dissolve slowly and inhale as well. So you get this fantastic flavor coming down. So we did walk to it in some rushed fashion because we loved it there. And we got terrified again because we saw some construction outside of the building. We were super scared that it was going to be shut. Thankfully, it was not, and we were able to go in. We bought some chocolate bars and some lovely little chocolates to go with it as well. Some Petit Four chocolates almost, if you like. And they were all absolutely fantastic and delicious. So this is just inside the chocolate shop. First thing you get, the smell is unbelievable. And these are some of the chocolates we got there. A fantastic little shop, quite busy at the time as well. And there was a tour about to start, but we hadn't really done anything chicken wingy and I couldn't leave without getting one of Tommy's famous chicken sausage rolls. And I thought, well, you know, it's, it's chicken. It's not quite wings, but we got that. We went back to the train to go back to Newcastle. And of course, I had my little Thomas Baker sausage roll. Really nice. Crispy. They gave me the weirdest looking one, to be honest. Um, as you can see, it puffed up quite strange, but it's this like lovely herby chicken pate in the middle um sausage i should say not pate and then lovely crispy puff pastry but give york a go we loved it you will too